<laughs> Go and shake on Auntie Lucy. Come on. You want some breakfast? <laughs> You're doing your outfit of the day. A very exciting day tomorrow. And I shall explain all in the morning. everybody, me again, welcome back to Vexa Media X and another weekly vlog. It's actually Tuesday today uh, because yesterday I was ridiculously jet lagged and I just felt weird all day. So I answered all the emails that I needed to answer and I took the afternoon off because well, it's been absolutely manic, as you saw from the last vlog for the past, uh, like, ten days. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a day off. Um, and it did me the world of good. So I am back home now. I am currently avoiding unpacking my suitcase, because that is the worst job, and I hate doing it. I also have two doggies with me uh, for the next couple of days, because Chris has got a family funeral that he's had to go down south for. So I said I'd look after Archie. They both need a wash, so I'm going to bath them at some point today, and then they're going to smell super, super nice, and Archie needs a brush as well. Toby has been sent the most adorable new collar and lead from a company called The Muttley Crew, and let me just show you. He's got his collar on now, but it comes with a little bow tie. It's so cute. They're all handmade, and they're really, really well done. They're beautiful, like a little tweed herringbone tweed set um he looks very handsome in his collar and incredible in that bow tie so um yeah i'm gonna have to keep that for special occasions otherwise i'll end up having him wear it all the time and people are gonna think i'm a bit of a twat but yeah today i am editing the vlog so i'm gonna crack on with that with a cup of tea um and i will unpack my suitcase at some point it's just such a rubbish job unpacking is worse than packing don't you agree um but yeah hopefully you uh, will enjoy the vlog that i'm about to sit down and make because that will be up by the time you watch this one and yeah just feeling really good feeling really really good feeling weird still a bit jet lagged woke up so many times last night and was like ping why do I wake at 6 a.m um but yeah i just i just in myself i just feel so so good so happy so relaxed so back to normal it's uh it's amazing have got the heating on though because it's bloody freezing autumn is officially here also happy to report that the J pillow is quite frankly the best travel invention ever. It's just so unbelievable. So if you're going on a long haul flight or even just an, a flight overnight or anything that you need, need to sleep, buy one. They're amazing. Um, I still didn't get the one back from my neighbour, so I assume they still got it. Noisy puppies. I assume they still got it. Um, I was going to send it back because obviously I got this one from Lakeland as well. Um, but I'm actually going to keep both of them. So if I'm travelling with someone, they can borrow one. Because honestly, they're just it's just bloody brilliant. Can't recommend it enough. Note to self. Make sure you remember to throw out any remaining bits of bread before you go on a press trip. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> It is half past three and I've just finished the weekly vlog. Well, I finished the first half. There is so much footage, I didn't realise how much I filmed when I was out there. So I've had to split it into two, so I hope that's okay for you guys. Um, I'll probably put one live tonight if it uploads on time. And then maybe do one tomorrow as a little added extra. So hopefully you'll like that when it pops into your subscription boxes. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go and have some lunch because I realise I haven't eaten yet today. Which is why I'm absolutely starving. Uh, and then I'm going to crack on with the second half, I think. I feel like I'm I'm on a bit of a roll so uh yeah probably should do some stretching there because i have been sat in this exact same position for about three hours four hours not good archie come here how did you manage to find the one puddle in the entire <laughs> go and shake on auntie lucy come on every single <laughs> every single time well, looks like we're having a bath then. <laughs> Disco dog! That collar is brilliant. Four pounds off eBay and rechargeable with the USB. Check it out. <gasps> oh dear, somebody looks grumpy. Well, you do the crime, you do the time, Archibald. <laughs> Does not look happy. <laughs> Made a green Thai curry. No, I'm like two episodes behind. Oh my god, I'm really wrong. I know, I can't watch it, Chris will kill me. Um, made a green Thai curry for dinner, but I think it's going to be too hot for Lucy because she's a spice nerd. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I've just made that up a spice nerd. Oh, 
<laughs> well, that was nice. I realised I didn't really explain anything there, but Lucy came around for tea. Um, we took the dogs for a walk, and while well, I cooked a tiger and curry, it wasn't too spicy. It was all okay. We washed the doggos after they sat in puddles, and Archie rolled in a cow pat, which was helpful. Thanks for that, Archie. Um, and then I introduced her to Black Mirror, which I've been absolutely loving on Netflix. I thought it would be too scary for me, but actually I quite like it. It's a bit of a mind boggler some of them and they are a little bit creepy um but i really liked them so definitely check that out on netflix three seasons and i've pretty much binge watched them all over the past couple of days anyway so i'm really really tired it's only 10 o'clock like we both like looked at our phones and we were like oh should we watch another one? Oh, it's probably too late oh it's probably too late to watch another one and then we're like oh it's only 10 to 9. <laughs> I'm still a bit jet lagged. But we shall get there in the end. Um, so I am going to just finish off uh, the second part of the weekly vlog and put that live for you tomorrow. There aren't many comments on this week's vlog at the moment, um, which I'm surprised about. I thought they'd be I thought you guys would be loving it and chatting away, but um not many people have left comments, so I hope it's okay. I hope you like it. Um but yeah, I'm just going to finish off the part two and then head to bed, I think, because I have a very exciting day tomorrow and I shall explain all in the morning. It's so cozy and nice in this house and I am so jet lagged and tired. I have just fallen asleep on the sofa right here and it's currently 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> Obviously lay down after I finished watching stuff and I was just like, oh. Just gonna close my eyes. Boom. <laughs> Do this in the morning. So I'm going to let these two outside, then put them in the kitchen, and then go to bed. And I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. So today is actually a really big day for me. Um, don't know where to start. Um, I have decided to do something. I've been working on something in my head for a long, long time, um, years in fact, and then this year I decided to go for it. Um, but I've been waiting for the right time to do it, and I've also been completely secretive with it. So um, it's something that I'm doing for myself. It's something that Chris knows about, Lucy knows about, um, but neither of them know the exact details and actually nobody knows that it's happening today. I am getting a tattoo. Um, like I said, it's something I've wanted to do for years. I just hadn't really finalised exactly what I wanted and where. And every time I kind of thought about it, I thought it's not quite the right time or it doesn't feel 100% right. Um, whereas now it does and I know exactly what I want, where I want it. Um, and my gut feeling is just saying yes, now is the time to go for it. It's something very personal to me. It will be in a place where no one will see it. I think even if I'm in a bikini on the beach, um, you still might not even see it. It's small, it's discreet, and it's really personal. So, um, yeah, it's not a decision I've taken lightly. Mum and Dad are going to be <laughs> probably quite disappointed. They're not massive fans of tattoos, but, um... It's not like I'm getting wanker tattooed on my forehead or anything. It's um, very tasteful, very small, and nobody will see it. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. So I'm going to head over there now. Um, I've taken ages to find a place and a tattoo artist who can do what I want, and I trust to do what I want. And today's the day. So, yeah, I'll see you. <laughs> see you in a little... I'm quite nervous. I'm quite nervous. Not about, like, how much it's going to hurt, because pain is temporary, but... Um, it's just a whole new experience for me. I've never had a tattoo before. I've never seen anyone have a tattoo before. Um, so yeah, here goes nothing. And that's a wrap. I am officially all done and tattooed and I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna show you guys actually because it is something I've done for myself and it's in a position where nobody would ever see it, even in a bikini. I think you'd struggle to see it actually. Yeah, probably. Um, and yes, it's it's 
it's just very personal so I'm not sure whether I'm going to reveal what it looks like um, but I might change my mind because I am also very proud of it and I absolutely love it I think it's so pretty it's really dainty really delicate and yeah I just love it and it's not a traditional tattoo either so um, because I don't really like tattoos that's why it's funny I've got a tattoo and I don't really like tattoos but what I've got is a kind of I wouldn't say alternative it's just yeah I'm sure you guys will probably be guessing and all sorts but um yeah it's I love it and it really didn't hurt that much either it took about half an hour it only cost me 30 quid because <laughs> it's tiny and yeah it was brilliant really lovely experience amazing talented artist took ages to find him to make sure that he was experienced in doing this type of tattoo and yeah it didn't hurt as much as I thought it would do so I'm all done now I've just got to figure out how I'm going to tell my parents who are arriving in about an hour sorry Mum and Dad didn't kill me, it's fine. Uh, they saw the tattoo and they were just a bit indifferent about it. They just don't like tattoos, I think it's just a different generation, isn't it? Um, but because it's not a traditional tattoo, um, yeah, I just kind of went, I've done something today that you're probably not gonna like. And they were like, yeah, I've got a tattoo. I was like, yeah, <laughs> and then showed them. But I think they, were, they weren't too offended by it, put it that way, because it's not in your face tattoo-y. So yes, uh, we had a lovely day. We did some food shopping. Um, which is much needed and what else did we do oh we took the dogs for a walk first time they've met Archie actually um, so yeah Archie went and sat in some more muddy puddles so they just had to go in the bath again and have their feet washed which they're both not very happy about and mum bought Archie a new duck and uh, Toby a new squirrel and a new chipmunk because they can never have enough toys apparently you've been spoiled again both of you <laughs> so many treats as well so uh yes looking forward to cleaning up those poos tomorrow just been sent a new fragrance from emporio armani i've never actually tried any of their perfumes before it's called because it's you and it smells really nice it's kind of it's sort of vanilla-y but still fruity at the same time because i'm not a big like vanilla-y musky kind of person i like fruity floral scents but it's nice it kind of it almost smells a little bit like cake like a fruit cake I quite like that. Scents are always such a strange thing, aren't they? They're always very, very um, <coughs> personal. But I quite like that. I think I might have found a new scent for the autumn period. Thank you very much, Giorgio Armani. I, uh, I never really bothered to smell that perfume, if I'm honest, but I think I might go and sniff a few more the next time I'm in an airport. So I am gonna go and finish off the part two of our Bangkok weekly vlog and put that up for you guys. I think I'll probably, why are there muddy footprints in here? <sighs> I think I'll probably put that up for you guys tomorrow. So you'll have seen it by the time this one goes live. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you'll leave lots of lovely comments and you enjoy it. But yeah, apart from that, that's pretty much my uh, my day done for today. And then tomorrow I'm going to get cracking on all the Bangkok photos and blog content, which I'm really excited for because I took some amazing pictures and I'm really excited to sort of sort them out and start writing up about how awesome Bangkok was because it was pretty darn awesome. Hey team, so it is about what time? Half seven and I've just finished all my work for the day and I've got into my PJs. I'm just gonna have like a little TV catch up night, watch some celebrity juice, maybe watch Liar, but loving Liar. Um, can't watch Bake Off because Chris will be annoyed if I watch it without him. <laughs> but yeah, just I had a lovely day, had a really little day. My tattoo is healing nicely. Um, putting uh, cocoa butter on it like they told me to do every three hours um it doesn't hurt at all actually i thought i'd be like not being able to wear certain items of clothing because it would press on it but it feels absolutely fine i love it i can't i really want to show you but then i also kind of want to keep it for myself because it's something that i have done completely for myself um but i have a feeling that when it's all healed and the redness has gone down that i'm gonna just want to like take a really arty picture and share it so watch this space you might get to see it at some point but yeah, I, I think it's just because I've done it for myself and it was a really big decision for me and I just don't want anybody's negative opinion. I think that's the only, that's the thing. Like, I don't want people going, ah, that's really shit, it looks shit, that's really cliche, that's in a crap position, that's the worst tattoo you can get. I just don't want anybody pissing on my parade, if I'm honest, so I feel a bit protective of it. Um but i'm just i'm really happy and i can't wait to show chris i can't wait to show him tomorrow he's gonna love it and lucy as well she's gonna see it on friday so yeah 
Oh good, feeling really good today. Eating mini cheddars and watching The Apprentice. It's a normal um, Wednesday evening for a 29 year old, right? Good morning everybody, happy <coughs> Thursday. <laughs> that bloody squeak from that squirrel constant. Uh, <laughs> how is everybody today? I'm feeling really good, don't know why. Um, I had some weird dreams, like really weird dreams like really weird dreams but um i've woken up feeling pretty good um as i always do these days i just wake up just feeling happy and normal and it's great so good to be back and loads of you have left comments on the um on the vlog last week um saying that i just seem more like myself and i do i do i feel like everything is just sort of falling back into place i feel totally normal again well normal um more like me um <laughs> yeah i just it's amazing life is good so my tattoo is healing nicely um i just had a look at it there's a little bit of redness around it but that's normal um and i bruise like a peach so i'm fully kind of expecting my skin to bruise um, i've got like bruises on my legs like slight they look like slashes on my legs and i was like where the hell like literally line 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 and i was like where the hell have i got these bruises from and i realized it's when these two are doing this in the mornings and then archie climbs on me and because he's so big and heavy like the pressure of his feet they like slide on my legs and cause bruises because <laughs> i had them like before i went to bangkok and i was like seriously i've got to wear shorts like what the hell are these bruises although that herbal balm that we made has um, made them all disappear so i need to put some of that on um but yeah i was like where are these bruises i realized that it was him and then they all went away when i was away and then when i've come back the first day like he climbed on me and now i've got the bruises again i look my legs just look like well they look they just look awful good job it's not shorts weather anymore i bruise like a peach it's ridiculous anyway so today um i've lined up the second part of the vlog and that goes see when he does this no, not on me. Um, <laughs> thinks he's a lap dog, that's the problem. Um, yeah, I've lined up the second part of the vlog so that goes live tonight. Hopefully you'll like it. And yeah, I'm just sorting through all my Bangkok pictures now. <laughs> Please, boys, stop. <sighs> that, no, it's that. <sighs> Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, I'm gonna go through and start editing all of my Bangkok videos and the photo videos, photos today. Uh, I'm writing up the blog posts, which will be really nice. I've also got a very exciting campaign that I've been working on with More Than Pet Insurance. And that was the whole thing with Toby that I couldn't tell you about before, but that goes live today. And I'm gonna put it out on my um, Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. So I really hope you like it. Basically, we've made a video, like a day in the life of, oh, there's a giant poo out there. Uh, a day in the life of Toby. <laughs> <laughs> and he had like a little GoPro on him and he was running around and we basically filmed his day and it's the cutest video you've ever ever seen it's so adorable I love it and that's going live today as well so I'm gonna be working on the content with them so on a roll this morning done all my expenses and sorted through my emails and now I'm just going through all of your comments from weeks and weeks of vlogs that I haven't had a chance to reply to and yeah just makes me realize like how far I've come up here in such a short space of time um, because I'm like it's probably like a few weeks ago these vlogs but it's just when I first started the tablets and everything and I just remember feeling so different to how I feel now so yeah thank you so much for all of your comments sorry I haven't replied to them so far um but I'm working on it there's just lots and lots and lots <laughs> Yo, 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 so it's about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. 2 p.m. in the afternoon, as opposed to 2 p.m. in the morning. Um, and I am on a roll, so I've decided to take my lunch break outside today, and I'm gonna walk into town, because I've been sent an amazing fragrance by I Mantra. Um, boys, stop. I've been sent an amazing fragrance by I Mantra, but it's an essential oil, and I don't have an oil burner. Believe it or not, like the crazy lady who loves reed, diffusers and candles and everything i don't actually own a, a, an oil burner and i've had a look online and there's one in wilco's for three pounds and it's really cute so i'm gonna head into town take a little bit of a break and um go and see if i can hunt down a little oil burner so i can try out the aromatherapy oils in the house managed to wash my hair much needed put a bit of slap on 
And uh, yeah, I think it's good. I think I'm also gonna go to Primark and get some like two pound black leggings just to bum around the house in because I like to wear actual tops but then skinny jeans are just uncomfortable when you're like sat down working all day. So I kind of thought leggings would look similar. I don't know. And maybe some cozy booties because it's getting into that season, isn't it? Not as successful as planned. Um, couldn't find the oil burner in Wilco's. They didn't have any. It was just a shame because it was like three pounds, which was really cheap. And it was so cute. Um, but I will keep trying. I'll keep looking in other Wilco's. Um, but I did manage to get my um, leggings from Primark for like £2.50. Um, and I also picked up this jumper which is a beautiful mustard colour that was £13, that's quite expensive for Primark and I got these as well, <laughs> little slipper boots because it's getting to that time of year and some fake Converse for £6 so um, yeah, it was. Uh, I got half of the things that I wanted to get at least Do you want some breakfast? Do you want some breakfast? <laughs> you want breakfast? Is it breakfast time? It's your breakfast time. <laughs> hey everyone, happy Friday. I still haven't unpacked my suitcase. <laughs> I absolutely hate it, I've just been putting it off. It's downstairs in the bedroom, so I don't even have to look at it, but I am starting to think I should probably crack on with that and do some washing, because I've got loads of clothes that I uh, need to wash. Uh, so today, very exciting day, I'm doing a collaboration with uh, Vauxhall, so they are actually giving me a car for the weekend, um, and we're gonna go out with the dogs and test it out, and and just see how well it performs. It's got like a really fancy kind of onboard Wi-Fi system, which is really good for passengers, obviously. Um, yeah, so we're gonna test that out. I'm gonna go for a dog walk with Lucy and the boys. Uh, and then tomorrow, Chris and I are gonna go out for lunch somewhere as well. Uh, and yeah, just drive it around for a bit. So that sounds really fun, although I'm quite nervous. Um, I thought the dog was humping my slipper then. Um, I am quite nervous about driving a car that isn't mine, I don't know. I've only really driven one or two cars in my lifetime, so uh, yeah, a little bit scary, but that's coming this afternoon. Um, and around that, I'm just cracking on with Bangkok stuff. There are so many photos, so the blog post will be coming soon, but my God, it's taking a while. I am so in love with this jumper I bought from Primark yesterday. Pounds, like I said, so it's a bit more expensive than the usual Primark fare, but it's got really big kind of like 70s sleeves and a kind of half polo neck and it's really baggy. This is a 10 to 12 and it's like just right, it's like proper oversized, it's really snuggly and it's just such a lovely colour. I think it looks quite nice with blue eyes actually, um, but it would also look nice with brown eyes or green eyes. Oh yeah, lovely. Um, so yeah, I am uh, I'm all dressed up for the day. I decided to put a bit of but a bit of makeup on because I just I was just feeling good, so I decided to put some makeup on. Got some nice kind of bronzy eyeshadow on from the Naked One palette, I think. And yeah, just my plain skinny jeans. Lovely. So the car is coming in about an hour, um, which I'm very excited for, although very, very nervous to drive. And then we're gonna head out, me and Lucy are gonna head out with the doggos, take them for a big walk and take some pictures of me looking nice, stood by the car with my dogs and my wellies on and my barber jacket looking very countryfied. <laughs> Can't stop eating today though. I've had a piece of toast with Crunchy spread, yum, very nice. And then a piece of toast with cream cheese and smoked salmon. Pfft, I think I might have a yogurt now. Just start, just got the munchies today, got the munchies. Right, we've got a problem because I've just been delivered the Vauxhall Corset that I am borrowing for the weekend for this blog post. And it's quite possibly the coolest car I've ever driven. Like, bear in mind, my little polo is like 15 years old and it's clinging on, clinging on to life. And this thing has got like heated seats, heating steering wheel, it's got Wi Fi on board, it's got a limiter, cruise control, parking sensors, like literally everything. And it's just, it's really comfortable. The engine is just silent. And I've sat in it and I've gone, <sighs> I don't want to give it back. <laughs> so we're gonna drive it a bit later. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's a really, really nice car. So we'll see how it drives. But yeah, I just, um, sorry, just noticed him. He's got his blanket out and he's just sat on the floor. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous. So I've got that until Monday. They're coming to collect it on Monday. Just uh, testing it out. We're doing a little campaign about um, little victories in life so things like drive you know when you drive and you manage to hit all green lights that's a little victory in life or if you take the dogs walking and they don't jump in a muddy puddle <laughs> that's a little 
little victory or I don't know just getting free food when you go out or an extra glass of wine or I don't know just like little things in life that make you happy so that's the campaign that I'm doing with Vauxhall really excited for it, actually it should be really nice and we should get some nice pictures but <sighs> It's, I'm, I'm not a big, I must admit, I'm not big into cars, I'm not like, as long as it gets me from A to B, I'm happy, which is why I've got my little polo that's old and it just does a job, but my goodness, that car is beautiful. <laughs> but considering that the breakdown of the car that I've got with everything that's included comes to £19,660, probably not going to be buying one. Maybe I should buy a lottery ticket instead. <laughs> Bit of leftover spaghetti bolognese with half spaghetti, half courgette from last night. It's made a nice little portion. Obviously smells good because somebody else wants some. <laughs> Ooh, look at my fancy car. With a little doggy in the back, it comes with a doggy. Even better. I'm just currently over there having a poo. <laughs> you get all the best jobs. <laughs> this is helping me take some pictures. It looks really great. That was a successful little photo shoot and the dogs actually behaved themselves, believe it or not. And then we had a lovely little walk around the forest and it was great, lovely. And we missed the rain as well, I do think it's gonna tip it down. So I'm gonna get cracking, editing some of these photos, uh, making sure we've got everything uh, that I need. Because obviously I have to give the car back on Monday, so I've just gotta make sure I've got everything I need. And then it will nearly be time for girls night. So we're going around to Joe's with the curry in the slow cooker and a couple of bottles of wine and we're just gonna have a little girly night together, me, Lucy and Joe, which will be really, really nice. Um, and if Joe's too tired to carry on, me and Lucy, they're gonna come back here and do a movie night as well. So I'm excited, fun Friday night all round. Drinking champagne, watching uh, Ooh, obsessive cleaners. compulsive cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> I just nearly put that on your head there, let you in like a little coaster. <laughs> well, that was a lovely and very boozy evening. <laughs> went on a lot longer than expected so we stayed at Joe's and we just had a lovely time and we all caught up and it was fantastic I'm a bit drunk so I'm gonna leave you tomorrow bye so just getting ready for a day out um... <laughs> everyone happy saturday um so yeah i had a really lovely time last night with the girls and feeling quite fresh this morning actually surprisingly how much champagne and prosecco we drank um but i'm going out today with chris and uh we're gonna go for lunch at this really nice restaurant near me uh as part of the Vauxhall campaign and we're gonna go and take a spin in the car um it's really nice you'll like it yeah so I've, the problem is i want to buy one it's only 19,600 pounds so what I'll treat you. <laughs> Christmas present. Um, so yeah, you I'm all dressed up. One. A toy one. <laughs> yeah, a little one. Um, so this is my outfit of the day. It's just a little cheapo jumper from Primark. <laughs> You're doing your outfit of the day. <laughs> Where's your shirt from? Charles Thwaite. I have no idea. A nice little trousers from Tesco. Tesco, Tesco trousers. Rocking all my best clothes today. <laughs> Rocking F and F. Um, and this skirt is really old i think it was from boohoo and these um shoes are to you anyway <laughs> these shoes are from asos ages ago really haven't apart from that jumper the other day i haven't bought myself any new clothes in ages but kind of like reliving all my old stuff anyway i quite like my outfit and i'm gonna pop on a little furry shawl that i got from river island years ago as well <laughs> this is why i fail at being a fashion blogger because even if you guys like the stuff that i'm wearing you can't buy it because it's about three years out of date <laughs> What are you doing, monkey? You can smell that slow cooker that's soaking off all the curry from last night. No, we don't jump up on the cupboards. Right, let's go and have date day. Sorry I didn't film any of our dinner, but we've had a lovely afternoon and I am officially a tenure fan. <laughs> Chris treated me to this dressing gown from Tesco and it is so snuggly. And also I got these little slippers, which are so cute. I think they're cats or mice or rabbits or something, but they've got glitter ears and they're very cute. I feel like a fully functional, nearly 30 year old adult. It's okay though, cause she got me a treat too. I got socks. socks. With bears on and new pants. I dressed you like a bear and you got me socks <laughs> with bears on. And you got some new pants as I well. I can't mind, I'm a 32 year old man. You think I'd be happy with pants and socks in the <laughs> Now I know what to expect for Christmas. You should do because you never, you <laughs> never wear matching socks. Dinner time. And now we've got pizza, even though we shouldn't have pizza because we've had like so much food today. But 
I'm looking forward well, to look it. look at that. That's amazing. That is quite good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Morning everyone, happy Sunday. Guess what day it is? It's Scarefest day. Very excited, but also running a little bit late. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a separate vlog for this as always. So if you wanna check out what we got up to on the day, uh, then you'll be able to see that in a couple of weeks time. Uh, really excited actually, even though Lucy's got a cold, so she's had to bail. And Mallory seems to have the Scarefest curse because she's had to cancel again. She always seems to cancel every single year. So it's just uh, me, Scott, Stacy, who's come back from Tenerife, uh, and Sam. So we're gonna rock it as an awesome foursome. Chris doesn't really like roller coasters, so he's volunteered to look after Toby for me for the day, which is really great. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Although we've already put it back an hour because all of us were like, we wanted a bit more sleep. So we've missed McDonald's breakfast, but that does mean cheeseburger at half past 11. <laughs> Diet starts tomorrow. I also get to drive the Vauxhall, which I'm very excited about because it's such a smooth ride. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna drive it all the way there. I'm gonna blast out a load of music. And yeah, I'll catch you on the other side. Don't forget to come over and watch the vlog because they're always a good laugh. Ugh, that was a lovely day. We got rain done in the end and uh, we went on all the scare bases. <laughs> so my throat is killing me from all the screaming. I feel so poorly. I felt, uh, this morning I woke up and I was like, I feel like I'm coming down with something. You know, like when you feel really achy and you can't quite close your fists together. And I thought, no, no, I'll, I'll have a lemon simmer power through. But yeah, being outside all day in the cold has not done me any favours. So I'm gonna go and curl up and put my PJs on. Um, I was supposed to be going to Chris's house this evening to, um, well, cause Toby's there with him. <sighs> Excuse me. But it was like, an hour and a half away from Alton Towers and I was like, I, I can't. <laughs> it's, it's quarter to nine now, so I can't, I can't drive that far, so I shall see you tomorrow. So I have an empty house, which is weird, because it's just weird, especially when you've been in all the scare mazes and now I'm like, I'm completely alone in my house. <laughs> but it was really good. As always, bloody love Scarefest. Uh, and there will be a vlog coming your way. Hopefully I've got enough to do like a separate vlog. If not, I might have to go in here, but we shall see. That's the job for tomorrow. But for now, I'm gonna put my PJs on. I'm gonna go and watch Don't Tell the Bride. <laughs> and then I'm gonna head to bed. So thank you very much for watching this week, guys. Um, and thank you for all of your lovely comments on the Bangkok vlogs. And yeah, it really means a lot that you guys are watching those and interacting and stuff. And yeah, I guess I'll see you next week. <laughs>